So today on Project Shop, we're back up here at River Ranch. We've got an empty trailer. We've got another empty trailer over here. And we're here to pick up all the scrap we can possibly fit in um, these two trailers and some equipment. All that scrap over there. And uh, pretty much anything we can get out of here. Some of this stuff they're keeping. And uh, we're just going to come in here and load up whatever we can. All it. All right, we're doing good, man. I found a nice rim for my dually. Um, got another rim down in there. Tons of aluminum, steel, stock. Um, this freaking bandsaw was super heavy. Way heavier than it looks. I got some nice I-beams for one of the presses I'm gonna build. And now, uh, these guys are asking us if we can get down these steel plates and that steel grate. And there's no forklift here. So what we're thinking about doing is just putting a bunch of pallets down here and pushing that right off. There is some stake sides up there for a truck. I'm going to go up there and see if uh, I can't get those down and uh, maybe make some sides for my trailer. And then we're just going to continue cleaning up and looking for aluminum. There's aluminum everywhere. Steel beams. Hey, I'll pick up some uh, spare tires here and uh, we got these I beams over here uh, is this uh, gate going or are they keeping the gate the gate stays but the pipe can go the swing gate. okay these I beams man that I beam is thick dude that's yep. a serious beam yep. but both of those will lay flat on my deck
all right that wasn't too bad i just kind of drug it up on the trailer this beam is heavy now i really don't have a use for a beam this big i don't have enough space really but this is what i plan on doing it's a lot of heavy steel here it might even be more than half inch thick um in the middle that middle webbing i might cut the middle out of this and use this for all the parts that i can use so i don't have to cut up them uh four by ten sheets of half inch plate i got i'll get majority of the steel i need right out of this i-beam maybe even cut this i-beam in half and use these uprights that pretty much i got in the new press right here i'll cut this right down the middle and uh split this and, and make a badass press out of it all right so we got a whole bunch of uh c channel yeah i'm taking all this wood got some big old chunks of wood oh look at this piece of aluminum nice um yeah so this c channel there was two pieces long man probably 40 40 foot long so we cut them up we're gonna get all this scrap here some aluminum looks like a heat exchange big old airboat cylinders alternators like the third alternator i found around here tons of aluminum man whole big bin of aluminum all that stuff that steel plate we're getting pretty much everything they want to give us we're not going to get it all today um and i don't even know if we're going to come back we're probably just going to take what we can today and then that's it scrap but um a lot of it we're gonna save so let's see what we found all right i'm about to tear into all this stuff we got up there it's a nice aluminum plate um nice giant copper brass radiator a bunch of spare rims got new sides for my trailer i'm actually gonna cut them in half and uh make them uh slide right down in these little pockets i already got i'll have to add some or cut these off and make them nice but uh you know it's about time i fix my trailer and put the <laughs> i actually got a fender for this but you know it's just like uh you know you ever heard the saying uh cobbler's kid has no shoes well the scrapper's trailer has no fender so whatever but check this out i'm most excited about this stuff right here i got this awesome little play school little original thing and the all original Tonka truck and it still works. Look at that. I had one of these when I was a kid. And then I got a yard chicken made with a little rebar and whatever. Pretty cool. And a little doggy. A little flower pot. A little spring. Some little looks like scrap art, man. So that's right up our alley. And got a nice dually rim for my truck. I'll polish that thing up and uh, replace one of the screwed up ones i got a matter of fact that truck over there got a cracked room in the back so that's right on time okay so i'm going through this stuff and uh surprisingly even though these uh cages took a 20 foot tall off of a pallet rack i mean they got a little bit of damage here and there you know a, little, a couple little tweaked ends um that ain't nothing so i don't have enough to do full sides like the full height i wouldn't want that anyway it looks kind of goofy i'm gonna cut these in half this thing's pretty pretty good condition man it's just dirty so um I'll clean it up see how it looks i took a second cleaned it up man that thing came out nice i really wanted to just inspect it for cracks it looks pretty good i don't know how they did that man on the rear dually something got in there but uh most of the damage on the face is from some idiot putting this in a tire machine the wrong way. I had a guy actually do that to me on my dually. I was 
pissed, man, because you could see where he grabbed it and then where the rim slipped when he was trying to put the tire on, man. Well, I wanted to kill someone, but this thing looks good, and it's right on time because uh, that truck over there has actually got a crack in the rear dually. It's still holding air, but like somewhere right up in here, there's a small crack which I'll have repaired for now. I'm going to take this, stick it in here with my spares. I got a spare that. Let's just make sure. This thing does say Ford right there. Make sure the pattern is the same. Yep, looks good to me. Hey, I got two brand new tires there. Brand new tire from a trailer. This one's already mounted. That's a spare spare. Well, it's a spare from out my other truck. But whenever I travel far, I always put two spares for the truck two spares for the trailer because if you cross the state you get a blowout over there that's a sketchy ride back with no spares you know what i'm saying so i've been thinking about making an automatic donut maker get this imagine this on a rotating table this being the center and slots being cut in this all the way down where you could just feed the wire and then this thing will just start wrapping it up um yeah i got i got ideas man uh something something's gonna happen here soon with an automatic donut maker